<laughs> Hi everybody. Hi y'all doing? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's me, Tinsy, your favorite gender non-binary. Um Ukulelist and vocalist. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for asking me. Yes, Tina Z without a hair hat. Ah! Uh, we're working on it. <laughs> I'm a work in progress, as always. What would I do if I were perfect? Ah. Um, so, hi. <laughs> in case you were wondering, what happens when you Google ukulele dress? Yay! This is what happens. And this is what happens when you order the wrong size. You see that? <laughs> Attach that right there. Yay! Okay. We're back. <laughs> Hi, today's song is You Don't Know How It Feels by Tom Petty. Ah! What? Tom Petty left us. Oh. Uh, I don't know why it was his turn, but it was his turn. Sadly, um, it wasn't was not, am not, the biggest Tom Petty fan ever, um, but, and unfortunately, um, it took his death to kind of um, realize just how prolific a songwriter he was, and talented. Wow. Uh, we lost another legend. Ah, uh, if we could just stop doing that for a while, that'd be great. So, please. <laughs> Whoever's in charge of that sort of thing, stop killing the legendary musicians. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so this is You Don't Know How It Feels by Tom Petty. And this sort of touches upon what I think is the most, okay, for me, is the most important topic ever in the history of civilization, and that is empathy. Um, and I'll just, I'll just um, talk about it very briefly. I could talk about it and I have talked about it <laughs> for 20 minutes at a stretch. That's my record so far. <laughs> Not that I'm keeping records. Anyway, get to it, Tina. Okay, so empathy is... Um, empathy is a process of stopping, active listening, and imagining. So, uh, what I mean by that is you stop um, with with your defenses. Um, gosh, what could be a good example of this? Should I give you an, an example? I should. Okay, so um, um, I want to do one without <laughs> without landing myself in trouble. Um, Okay, sports. So, let's say I live in Arizona. Home of the uh, Cardinals. The football team. The NFL football team. I'm not an NFL fan. I'm not a sports fan, generally. Um, so, um, okay, let's use that. I'm not... <laughs> Do you know that I don't prepare my intros? Anyway, so let's use... I'm not a sports fan. Tina Z is not a sports fan. Now, let's say I had a, a good friend who is a massive fan of um, NFL. And uh, my friend and I were talking about the merits of football. I, of course, with my opinion, uh, don't see many. I don't appreciate many merits of football. And my friend, obviously, would disagree. So, empathy... Uh, from my pen, my friend's point of view, would be stop with your defenses about what I'm saying. So stop yourself from thinking, essentially, because we all think when other people, not all of us, many of us, when we're having a conversation, uh, as the other person is speaking, we're formulating what we're going to say. We need to stop that. Okay, so stop. And then uh, two is actively listen. So I would hope my friend would stop his defenses um, about the NFL and actively listen to what I'm saying. If I said something, um, whether it has merit or doesn't have merit, uh, if the person actively listens, then the next step, number three, 
is easier. The uh, three is imagination. And imagination, by what, by imagination, what I mean is you imagine yourself in the other person's place. So, coming at it from this uh, particular example that I just now created, <laughs> uh, so my friend would would hear me say, I don't, uh, I don't like uh, NFL football because um, it's too violent. I don't like violence, I think it's too violent, and violence is bad. There's my reasoning. And so as I was saying that, the, the um, temptation for someone is to go, violence, no, they're all padded up, and blah, 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 all these things, you know. They're thinking that defense, as you're saying, what you're saying. So I'm saying, stop that, stop that. So if a friend stops that, actively listens, violence, okay. So my friend is hearing me say that violence... I'm not a fan of violence. And then, once that happens, my friend can imagine himself in my position as someone who is not a fan of violence, then considering the NFL. So, at that point, <clears throat> excuse me, my hair is in my eye. Um, at that point, my friend would say, would understand. <laughs> We have an understanding. And my friend's position doesn't change. My friend doesn't suddenly not like NFL. But my friend understands where I'm coming from much better. And vice versa is true. As my friend says, Oh, but... <laughs> but uh, the NFL have safety measures and they have... Uh, helm uh, they're constantly improving helmets and blah, blah, blah. You know, th we'll have that conversation. I need to do the same thing to my friend for my friend, and that stop with my, yeah, but concussions, and I need to stop the thinking, listen actively, oh, okay, well, and then imagine from that point of view, okay, you like the sport, and they're improving safety, okay, I get it, you see how that works, that's empathy, it's a, it's a skill that, that, <laughs> that we don't teach, and it's a skill that's, that is uh, sadly missing, in our society. <laughs> that was supposed to be short. That wasn't short. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is a, a song that kind of sort of touches on empathy. It's you don't know how it feels to be me. <laughs> you don't know. You don't. But you could imagine. Yay! See how I wrapped everything away? <laughs> okay, here's the song. Ah!
watching everybody. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye.